I'm, I'm going to have to pluck up my courage and give it a go. I'm just going to have to do it. Can't tell, Andrea. Welcome to our channel. In March of 2022, Sue and I set off to realise a dream. We are living full-time in our motorhome and travelling the UK with our two Labradors. Sue loves to run every day with Fudge, whilst the old boy Archie still enjoys a gentle stroll. We love the freedom of our lifestyle and finding new places to explore. Hi everyone, so today is a move on day and we're moving off to a really, really posh site. I can't remember what it's called, obviously I'll put all of that information in the video, but it looks like it's actually got a swimming pool, but it's also really, really close to the beach. So this could be my very first open water swim of 2023. Now, I don't want to manage, I need to manage your expectations because it may not happen. I don't know what the water's like, the tide's like, what the dangers are. I'm going to have to look at all that first, but it's on the beach. I'm quite excited and it might give me an opportunity to have a swim. So come along with us. So yesterday we arrived at Highlands End Holiday Park. Now this is uh, an expen another expensive site. We're only here for three nights. And that's because we fancied coming down to the coast and trying a bit of beach. And as I said yesterday, uh, hopefully I'll get to do a bit of swimming. So I have had a look and I think it is going to be possible. It's just whether I'm brave enough. Anyway, this is a very big holiday park. It's got static caravans as well. So probably a good place to come if you're meeting family that haven't got camper vans or motorhomes. And in the summer, they, they obviously take tents as well. There's no tents here at the moment, certainly not in, on any of the grass pitches, I get the impression they're closed. It's busy. When we arrived, it actually didn't look too busy at all. But during the course of the kind of rest of the afternoon into kind of early evening, the site filled up and we had a little bit check online and realised it's half term. So there are actually lots and lots of children at this site as well. So, um, well, we see how we go for the next three days. It's a little bit of a break away from the norm for us. But nevertheless, it's by the coast and we did walk down to the beach yesterday and I, I, the, the dogs absolutely loved it. Now Archie and I are just in the dog walking area, as you can see. It's actually a really big field, much bigger than anything we've experienced before. <laughs> Look at the views all around me. It is just magnificent, isn't it? Now I have to say from this viewpoint, that sea looks very, very inviting. I'm, I'm gonna have to pluck up my courage and give it a go. I have checked. Uh, and although it says you need to be a reasonably strong swimmer, it doesn't say no swimming. Uh, it talks about it getting deep quite quickly and there being a bit of an undercurrent. So I'll stay fairly close to the shore anyway, um, so Sue can call the Coast Guard if needed, but hopefully not, I'll be very sensible. Hmm, and can I be brave though? made it down to the beach at eight. I'm surveying the waves. Uh, it was actually really a little, quite sunny this morning and the sea definitely looked more inviting, but I have seen and spoken to somebody who's been swimming this morning, so I cannot bail out now. 
I'm thinking later on this afternoon um, I'm just gonna have to do it and as long as it doesn't get any more windy and it stays reasonably calm like this I think I'll be having a good swim so you'll have to wish me luck as you can see it's absolutely beautiful down here it is part of the Jurassic coast in Dorset apparently you can find lots of fossils down here uh, so uh, yeah it's, it's a beautiful part of the world so my first open water swim of 2023 off the beach at E. as you can see the sun has come out not sure how well you'll be able to hear me because I don't know what the wind's like can't tell Andrea see you later That made my hands cold to start with and once I got my gloves on that was fine but my face in the water amazing but very very exhilarating I'm glad I did it Girl. good morning everyone so we've decided to walk down into the uh, little town village of West Bay and Sue and I have got a bit of a recollection that actually West Bay was where they filmed the fantastic TV series we think it was called Broadchurch that's the first time I remember seeing Olivia Coleman in anything um, I'm sure she was in other things before then but that's where I really remembered her so we've decided to have a walk down into the village Sue's found a slightly shorter route just so it's easier for Archie and actually it's not too far from where we are at all so let's go and see well we've made it to West Bay and there is the, a little harbour here so we're just walking out along the harbour walls you can see there's boats behind me um, yeah, so we're going to walk to the end of the harbour wall, have a look out to sea, ponder our future in this world and all that romantic stuff that you do when you see water. Down your drain now, your heart pounds, your lips move, your eyes shine, you lose it all. So I'm right at the end of the pier now and as you can see behind me you have that fantastic view of the harbour and out behind you is a fantastic view of the sea. It looks brighter on the horizon. the ocean for you to sail away 
Trying not to show you my emotions Now you sail away So as well as the uh, touring caravans, the static caravans that most of them are actually owned by people, but there are some I believe that you can rent. And I think there's a couple of holiday cottages as well. But here, I'm going to take you in, is where they have the glamping pods. And they do look very swanky. They're obviously not being used at the moment. There's certainly nobody in any of them. But uh, I guess as the weather warms up, You'll get more and more people coming here and therefore it's not another one of those places if you want to come as a family or a group of friends you've got some who have caravans and motorhomes and some that don't then you've got a, an alternative when you come to somewhere like this actually that's got a swimming pool as well although we've not used it i don't i think you might get passes for the swimming pool if you stay in these pods um not entirely sure you can use the swimming pool if you're touring, although you have to pay, and I've no idea what the cost of that is, because Sue and I haven't bothered. We did the sea, well, I did the sea. And then behind me here, you have what looks like a brilliant children's kind of adventure playground, kind of place I would have loved when I was a kid. Lots of things to climb on. Well, good afternoon everyone. Sue and I are taking just a little break from van life for a long weekend. I was going to say it was a girly weekend, but we've got some young boys as well. Some of the sons are here as well. But as you can see, there is a pool behind me and apparently it's got jets at one end and bubbles at the other and way over there there's a big tv screen so uh well this is going to be really special and a massive break away from what we're used to i'll show you inside as well i think you'll be quite impressed so this is our fantastic kitchen and lounge area where no doubt we'll have a few drinks later won't take as long i'm sure and if I, if I carry on taking you through, you can see that lovely outside bit. I'm going to wander through into the, the games room. Which as you can see, has already got some people playing games. But look at all those TV screens. Apparently you can get Netflix, they've got Xbox, they've got everything you can imagine in here. This is, this is our room for the weekend. Take, take you back down to the lounge end. Oh, we can put the rugby on this weekend. Oh, there's no Six Nations. Weekend off, but Wigan are playing... Uh, I think it might be Sunday, it's on Channel 4. So we can do some rugby league. <laughs>
So we are the advanced party of walkers that have made our way valiantly, yeah. Yeah. valiantly, cross fields, cross fields to the pub, mm -hmm. where we now await the. Well, what would you call that party that are coming next? Lazy, half-hearted. <laughs> the half-hearted lazy party who should have been here but they're not here yet. No. No. But look what we've got as a view behind us. Pretty magnificent. We'll probably even have a quick pint before they turn up. <laughs> Mandy? Mini Mac. What? Mini. Who knitted this hat? Liz Bomfield uh, knitted this hat. I think it was donated via Sharon. Thank you, Sharon, in Australia. Best wishes to you. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> we're out with the girls on a lovely sun Sunday summer, summers, no, sunny, sunny day. Uh, just starting our walk through some woods before we have a lovely Sunday lunch at the pub. And that's where the smell's coming from. in the woods. <laughs> well, you say lost, we say temporarily misplaced. Don't know where we are. Yeah, I know, darling, but you can't, you've got sometimes, you've got to just follow the path. Black dog, woods. We, we go on to this and then we're on a straight, straight line. <laughs> this is a very <laughs> cool place, isn't it? Oh, wow, they are cool. Just temporarily misplaced, Harrison. <laughs> Hello, down there. Oh, Harrison, oh, I wouldn't mind following, following the crowd. The So good morning everyone and after our little break from van life we are back on the road again but more of that next week. I hope you've enjoyed this episode with our little catch up uh, with friends and our fun packed weekend. We will be back to the normal routine in next episode but for now if you've enjoyed this episode think about giving us the thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe don't forget click that little bell and that way youtube will notify you every time we post a new video otherwise until next time <laughs>